This video is with cursing so watch out. Hey Sons Van Barito, John here. This is Legacy Reviews. On this episode is with cursing because I have to make a reference to The Ravitos Show. In the first episode, Ravitos uses his interdimensional portal to get to Hyrule and date Zelda for the first time. Then we meet up with a new character, a fan. At the bus station, he asks questions and gets rejected by Zelda. Basically the whole episode Zelda has Stockholm Syndrome and two random guys want to date her. Want to date me? No thanks. In episode 2, Ravitos prays to God on how he will get more views and God lied because episode 5 got less views. Onto the true plot. Ravitos goes to a restaurant ordering the wrong big smoke order with a salad for some reason and goes outside saying, That was a great meal. Until some random guy named Ravitos 652 slaps him in the face with insults afterwards and they fight. After the fight, the time and space police inspector Fierda or whatever her name is Inspector Gadget's genderable reject takes the criminal to Black Hole Prison. Thank your order and you make good videos. I'll have two number nines, one with cheese, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, large soap, and a lot of My boy. These pieces are what all true warriors strive for. In episode 3, Ravitos and Zelda are at the bus stop. Zelda is waiting for the bus for the king to arrive. Also Zelda needs to go to Smash with her friend Peach, which both of them are never mentioned again in the Ravitos show. Future Sos Van Barito here, Zelda does get mentioned in episode 4 and 7 that's all I need to edit right now. After that conversation about Zelda smashing Peach for no reason, the king arrives which looks nothing like him and looks more like the king of Ikea. Well no one is perfect, Ravitos proceeds to talk to the king about KFC and Orange the Witches in the Cafe plus Taco Bell. Meaning that there is a new character Orange she tells Ravitoaster that the devil took the soul of the old owner and Ravitos goes there to fight him. They have an epic battle featuring Ravitos turning Super Saiyan and the devil turning black because he wants the N-word pass so badly. No thanks. Exploding fist in your face. Wow it really explodes too. In this episode, Ravitos goes to take a big shit. La la leela, out of the sudden the man in black appears and talks about that the aliens want to capture Ravitos, because Lisa from Mars thinks that human are the most beautiful creatures on the Milky Way. At night which clearly is daytime, the alien appears and smack Ravitos in the face. I guess it was very strong sleeping powder from Mars. After that Prince Lisa wants to kiss Ravitos, but get rejected for Super Ravitos Bros Ultimate, because Ravitos already has a girlfriend. Ravitos uses his teleport watch and teleports away from the ship. Princess Lisa Simpson from Mars gets pissed about this and goes on Earth herself to get Ravitos, but instead get the Black and Menace husband, because that's how love works in D360. She tells Ravitos bye bye and tells him we are just friends now. The episode ends and out of a sudden. Stop. Well 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 look it's the man in black. This will light Ravitos alone. Why would I do that? Because he already has a girlfriend and I love you. Oh really? Yes I will tell you how love works. Nice World Heroes 2 Ness reference buddy. Anyhow the plot of the Rick nuclear adventure is that Rick needs something from D360, because I don't know he needs something for his potion, I guess. Rick then enters the club and some guy appears then some girl showed up which will later be revealed that it is Tammy and then steals Rick's shit. After that Rick tells Morty to save the other shit, and Morty slaps Lick in the face putting him to sleep because Morty had sleeping powder, I guess. Dick wakes up at Javitos' house. Rick explains that he needs to find Will Morty Smith, because his shit and other shit got stolen by the pirates of Konisoft. Ravitos seems to know Rick from the show of origin, since this is a crossover epidose like every episode of the Ravitos show. Then evil Morty and Temmie are planning something I guess to possess real Morty out of the sudden Ravitos 652 appears and renames himself Badassos for some reason, and he is forced to work because they are threatening him. 
Ravitos and Rick are trying to find Morty, so Ravitos uses the Mystique's box to find him and they go there to the ship and tells them to stop and they have a fight. Did I forgot to mention that this is a two-part episode? Well anyhow, Ravitos fights possessed Morty and Rick fight badasses in pink paint. After the battle Rick comes to Tammy's office which is in a ship by the way and slaps her in the face for insulting him because Rick is a god. Possessed Morty takes Ravitos' soul and the aftermath shows that Ravitos and Morty are in prison forced to watch porn of Satan for some reason. Eventually Ravitos escapes the prison and talks to God in the elevator giving him the ability to turn himself into Super Saiyan G. Then Rick tries to fight Possessed Morty, but then Ravitos turn into a SSJG and he uses his iconic finishing move to stop Possessed Morty. Morty is back to normal and Ravitos gives the SSJG power back to God. Ravitos leaves Rick and Morty alone and Rick and Morty have a classic adventure, because that's how the episode ends. Oh damn. If this was a real summary this would be torture. But we are not done yet. Ravitos, the Rick the Lucar adventure. Okay take this gun. Yes. This counts as a real episode of The Ravitos Show, and sorry if there are some sex jokes. Yes, this is in the actual video. Well anyway Ravitos is at some place they sell burgers and Inspector Patrick appears and tells Ravitos about the pedophile Baldi, so Ravitos goes on a shitty adventure to stop Jan Henk I mean Baldi. Ravitos appears in the classroom and wants to arrest Baldi for selling illegal seven drug candies to bang the yao yeah, okay you get the joke. But Baldi tells Ravitosti to find all seven notebooks just like in the game. He solves the first notebook and continues his adventure and found another one where Baldi completely lies about him not being connected to Satan, which he is the devil from episode 2. Ravitos gets all the questions right and Baldi flips his shit because Bald Bull wants him to fail. Ravitos enters the room where the hologram is gonna take place later on in the episode and encounters poorly animated broom man and the principal of the school and Ravitos unbrainwashes him and breaks the fourth wall. The unpossessed principal gives Ravitos a notebook so that Ravitos can leave quickly and Baldi spanks the principal because Baldi Komeji can read minds for no reason. The third notebook is solved featuring an epic roast made by Ravitos and Baldi being kinda gay for saying stupid shit. Then Playtime appears and gives Ravitos a golden notebook, which only had one question after he did rope skipping for 30 times. Also she is not under Baldi's control anymore and leaves. After that Ravitos enters the computer class, while it's a bully was watching Ravitos the pro videos, and gives Ravitos the fifth notebook to solve the questions. Afterwards it's a bully leaves his room, and Ravitos uses the computer to watch Baldi's sketchy shit. Then out of the settling broom man appears and gets blocked and Ravitos get the sixth notebook for some reason. Anyway he solves the sixth note block and unpossesses broom man turning him into Jepito who was in jail for doing illegal shit as well. Then Ravitos enter the motherfucking goddamn cocksucking elevator then Baldi appears and does a demonic fart like it's a futuristic hub video or something then brings him to the office featuring hologram Satan not blue Satan. Then Ravitos woke up and destroys Satan's machine, and Baldi's head is floating because he's secretly evil. Also Ravitos solves the seventh notebook while he talked to his enemy and he is able to grant three wishes, because the notebooks are Dragon Balls apparently. Ravitos did careful wishes, and Baldi is now in Black Hole Prison for five years. After five years Baldi makes a game about the tragedy. Demonic fart. Oh shit. Time for a lot of memes, because this one is the one with the most memes in the episode. The first question of this video is, why is Ravitos stuck in a Minecraft cage in hell, and also who is this guy? Well anyhow Jesus saves Ravitos out of the cage, and Ravitos needs to go to Krispy Kreme, because Satan becomes fat. What excuse me but what's going on here? Did Ravitos get stuck in the cage, because Satan wants to get fat from all the creamy donuts? Well anyway Ravitos asks Gabriel Jesus the most important question in the entire earth. Turns out that this guy is actually Gaming Creeper 360 and he got in D360 with the nether portal from Minecraft I guess. So Ravitos takes him to his house which is in the forest, nice to know where he lives. Then GC360 goes to the toilet because he hasn't shot since Minicrap and afterwards Ravitos explains how he got stuck in the cage. Satan was supporting the bad memes from Ravitos' channel? What the actual fuck? 
Ravitos shows GC360 his house in the elevator then they watch a classic YTP which will be shown at the top right of the video. After the night they are talking about Smash Bros and Ravitos need to find the ingredients for the breakfast. Out of the sudden the space police came not to be confused of the time and space police. The space police arrests GC360 for entering Ravitos' house then leaves and Ravitos bring GC360 to his lab and wants to know his dimension code. GC360 doesn't know his code but he knows Mind Life, which is a reference to Mind Life, which was actually created by GC Animations, who was lost for two years. Then Ravitos has the simplified code of GC360's dimension, and he tries to return him back into the dimension GC360 originated but failed because I have no clue what happened. Ravitos and GC360 get teleported to a room of space police agents, so they fight the space police agents, because they threaten GC360 to kill him. After the fight the space police agents retreat for no reason even though they have infantry recruits, and Ravitos and GC360 follows them. Then it turns out that Badassos and Satan are behind all of this and they fight. Afterwards they just sit on the couch. Did they kill Badassos and Satan? Satan is eternal but Badassos should be in the hospital at this point. They talk for a bit and watch MLG Peppa Pig unofficial while the credits roll in the Ravitos show. What's going on here? But wait it's not done yet they also talk about their YouTube channel and stonks. This aged really poorly. So that's it right? All the episodes done? So should we end the video here? No, there's more Ravitos related content on Ravitos the Pros channel. Good news, these are just bonus content, so you can end it here or just enjoy the boring review about extra content related to the Ravitos show. The One Punch Hero Saitama himself appears in this video and it's related to Ravitos, because Ravitos appears in the video. Let's get started. So the video begins with Ravitos explaining why Rectacular Adventure Part 2 has to be finished, so instead he creates a small video, 5 ways to beat Saitama. Now here's a quick summary of the ways to beat Saitama. The first way is Santiago, he beats Saitama with a slap, because those are the powers of Santiago. The second way is another Saitama. Well it's the same as before but with a different character. The third way is the Infinity Gauntlet. This is about Thanos trying to steal books from Glob Glow Gab Galab, because Muslim Thanos needs books for some reason, and Patchouli escapes from the Taco Bell place. Saitama tries to save the day, but fails because tickles with Infinity Gauntlet equals instant death. The fourth way is my favorite one because dead memes. Saitama is at the center of Ravito's productions with Seven Grand Dad, in the What the Fuck elevator, and apparently Saitama is allergic to dead memes even though he is one. He escapes the elevator and then meet up with Barry B. Benson then he asks him if he likes jazz. Saitama gets an autism attack from Barry and proceeds to an office and meet up with iDubbbz and gets an heart attack because dead memes. The cape baldy walks in the room where Rick asks ceiling, not Rick Astley by the way and Rick rolls him to death. So we end up in the ultimate way to kill Saitama. Ravitos turns Super Saiyan and slaps one punch man in the face. Later on Ravitos revives Saitama back to life. Now we know that Ravitos can revive people from the dead by using technology. Alright moving on to the next video. This may be a confusing one because the video is so funny that I saw Van Bear Ito had to make a sequel parody about it. So anyway let's talk about the Ravitoses since they have a description now while Ravitos was writing in the comment section. So the first Ravitos is a hunter who murders people with denigracy whatever that means, hopefully it's supposed to be degeneracy. He looks like a knight with a knife. The next Ravitos looks like a warrior straight from an anime. As the description reads this universe version he is disguised in this form with the tattoos being his magic charm to protect from the lovey and entities. Now this Ravitos is a woman, no seriously that's the description and nothing more. After her is South Park Ravitos. This version is one of the three children of the South Park version of Cthulhu, this Ravitos and the other two have their own ability instead of being sacrificed. He also is a young deer to Wendy and has the ability of power. He looks like a regular kid just like plenty of the South Park kids. Now this Ravitos looks like Ouija with bunch of shit on. He saved his own dimension from the meme virus that became a center to the Hivey mind. Honestly I have no clue what this could be but he is sure that the memes don't become violent. It feels like a YTP story, but I guess I am just moving on to the next one because this one is making my head hurt. 
This Ravatos is just a normal guy who explores his own world nature. This Ravatos is not a Ravatos, but is the adoptive son of an unknown Ravatos, who gave him the title. This character looks like Cell, but with Cell Jr.'s colors. This farmer Ravatos was retired from fighting and shaved his beard and all he wants was to become happy. Now this Star Wars version of Ravatos is far far away from the galaxy. That's the description and we need to find it ourselves. The next one is also a Star Wars one because he survived Order 66 and learns the way of the light side which corrupted him. The next description of this inkling Ravatos is just what it is, he's a kid in a squid. This Ravatos is from Hyrule, which is a place in the Legend of Zelda universe. Anyhow he joined the Royal Guard and protected the Royal Family. He wants to know his true origins because of his ears being non-pointy. This female Ravatos is a true super sand lesbian? No for real that's the description again. This FNAF animatronic Ravatos survived fire and rebuilds himself into an animatronic. Now we are almost done with the descriptions. This Ravatos is the D360 Ravatos. You know, the one that has his own show and the one I just looked at a whole 11 or so minutes ago. Anyhow the last Ravatos has no description because the time and space police redacted it, so no description for the poor bootleg Darth Vader fellow. This video exists just for expanding the Ravatos lore now let's move on to the last video related to Ravatos. This one is pretty simple, it's a duty dotted video about Ravatos, let's watch. I really don't need to explain this except that there are going to be theories about this video. Well anyway let's talk about the Ravitos show, what I think about it. It has better potential than Shitty Adventure, I think this could have been a great show if it had some more going for it and a consistent length with each video. I did recommend this to people who like the craziness of this show. Overall I give it a 7.5 out of 10, it has originality, romance, crossovers and interesting plot. Ravitos also made appearances in GC animations and Sos Van Barito's videos. Before I end the video I am going to announce something special. It's related to the Ravitos show. Roll the trailer. Exploding this on your face. You will never win. Snip snip. Hello Duffass. Yay! Well hopefully you enjoyed this legacy review episode as maybe I am going to make more of them in the future and give me an opinion about this review. Have a good day viewers.